the overall procedure is like this. You take the, you take the momentum and uh, mass conservation loss in the Navier-Stokes equation, you combine them to get an evolution of the velocity itself. Just the velocity, not the rho, rho u, right? Because the momentum balance takes the rho u. Now you get uh, just uh, the evolution equation for u itself, and, uh, uh, and then take the divergence of that. So the divergence of the, and also write it in, in Eulerian form because you, you need to take the uh, take the divergence. Uh, sorry, take the curl of the of that equation. So now after you take the curl of that equation, that gives you a transport equation for the vorticity omega, right? So so vorticity is defined as the curl of my velocity field. So so after this derivation. What we get is the Lagrangian derivative, actually not just of, uh, the general formulation is not just of omega, but omega divided by rho, and this is a vector. So this is equal to omega divided by rho itself, dot with the velocity gradient tensor. And the rest of the terms is quite interesting. So one of the term is the grad rho cross product with grad p divided by rho cubed. And another term is the effect of viscous stress. That's one over rho times the, uh, the curl of the divergence of the viscous stress tensor divided by rho again. So let's look at these three terms one by one. Okay, so these three terms, all of them has a very interesting physical meanings. So the first term, the first thing to point out in the first term is that it doesn't exist if omega is zero to start with. It cannot produce vorticity from nothing, right? If you do have a vorticity, it can make it larger or smaller or change direction. But if omega is zero, this term is nothing. Okay, we're gonna go come back to that a little bit later. The second term, the second term is the misalignment between the density gradient and pressure gradient. It's called uh, the barrack clinic fork. It happens whenever the gradient of density is not equal to the uh, is not aligned with the gradient of pressure. For example, um, the in a let's say in a in a low speed world like like our uh, the world we are living with not not with uh, airplanes, the pressure gradient is usually pointing in the vertical direction, right? Uh, down here, more pressure, there is less pressure here. And uh, in the winter especially, you see a lot of density gradients, right? Because uh, inside the buildings is a lot warmer, outside the buildings is a lot cooler. So density gradient, so let's say if you open a door, which direction does the density gradient point to? And is it aligned with the pressure gradient? Hmm? It's almost orthogonal, right? The density gradient points from inside the building to outside the building, right? So let's say uh, that's the door outside is the is cold. So density gradient points that way, pressure gradient points that way. So can somebody tell me what kind of vorticity is that going to produce? Don't see anybody using your right hand. Let's say that's the door, right? It produces a vorticity that points towards the back, right? Does that make sense? You see that vorticity when you open the when you open a door. Have you ever experienced that vorticity being produced? No. No. Think of what that kind of vorticity do. Like, let's say you have you have a vorticity sitting like everywhere uh, around that door. 
what is the flow field when you have a vorticity pointing in that direction? Inside it's going up, but yeah, that's right. And what, what about just around the door? So the flow, like on the upper portion of the door, which direction does it go? It goes out, right? On the lower portion of the door, it goes inside, right? So, so that's what happens. That, I mean, that's, that's one way from the vorticity equation. How do we explain when you open a door, there is a draft, right? So, so there is a vorticity being produced alongside the door, and uh, the, the, the cold air rushes in from below, and the warm air goes out from the top. All right, that's baroclinic talk. And if you ever struggle to remember the sign of the baroclinic talk, oh, it's grad P in front or grad rho in front. That's how I usually uh, figure that out. <laughs> All right, that's right. Uh, open your door to the cold outside. I think living in Boston helps you do that. <laughs>